This day has finally come. The 27th of July, the day when more than a thousand years ago Ukrainian predecessor Kyiv and Rus adopted Christianity. This year Ukrainians have been overwhelmed with panics. An unprecedented religious procession set off to Kyiv from the eastern region, in particular from the Sviatohirsk cave monastery situated in Donetsk region. A week later another group of religious pilgrims departed from Holy Dormition Puchayev Lavra in Ternopil region, that is western Ukraine. Today both groups met in the capital. Thousands of police officers and soldiers have been watching the streets of Kyiv since early morning. The whole city center is full of metal detectors, metal wired fence across the streets. The police is on the highest level of alert. We are set to follow the strictest security rules. The members of Ukrainian National Police, as well as the National Guard fighters, will examine the believers. All the people are expected to pass through the metal detector screen. It's a compulsory measure, for we have been previously warned on numerous provocations. Both pilgrim groups entered Kyiv early in the morning. After pronouncing usual prayers, they set off to the city center. As the National Police Service previously demanded, the believers walk no longer. Instead, everyone willing to participate in the overall divine service is obliged to get on the bus. At the same time, hundreds of believers gather at St. Volodymyr Hill, awaiting the official public prayer. In total, more than 10,000 people. As the official liturgy finished, the whole crowd line set off to Kyiv Pachersk Lavra. In view of abnormal heat with 30 degrees above zero, several people reported fainted and taken to the hospital. As the column walked along the streets, several people met them on the way, holding Ukrainian flags and shouting patriotic slogans. At 16 p.m., the march is reported to be over, with procession members arriving at Kyiv Pachersk Monastery. The all-night vigil is set to start in an hour.